How much am I allowed to socialize with the opposite gender without falling into a sin? Obviously, in the circumstances that we find ourselves in, uh, the, there is no gender segregation. So, Islamically, uh, it is permitted to be decent and dignified with the opposite gender. Uh, what is imperm impermissible is to obviously go into vulgarities or to go into a situation or scenario that will lead to a sin. Uh, our co-workers, our colleagues, uh, the people in our office and whatnot, uh, Islam dictates upon us that we are dignified and decent with them. We greet them, we, 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 we get to know them in a way that is permissible. What would be impermissible? is to obviously uh, become physical, talk about vulgarities, uh, do indecent things with them. Uh, this is something that would be haram. Within the confines of the social norms, the Sahaba uh, would speak with the Sahabiyat, they would interact with them. The male female of the Sahaba would know each other by their first names. There would be a dignified and decent talk. So no doubt uh, the same should apply in our scenarios, if not even more so, uh, as long as lewdness and evil is avoided uh, and the hearts are kept pure as much as possible, it is permissible to to engage and to dialogue and to be friendly uh, but obviously one should be always on the guard against slipping because it's very dangerous and uh, as we know uh, th this is a stepping stone to a potential haram relationship so one should be guard and mindful otherwise uh, decent dignified conversation is permissible inshallah